There are mistakes that won't totally ruin you. Things like only buying one Lamborghini, or getting satin instead of Chinese silk sheets, or bungee jumping in Iran. Actually, that one probably will kill you, um, or ruin you at least. Uh, anyway, what I'm saying quite eloquently is that there are mistakes that won't ruin you, but then there are other mistakes, and those other mistakes are different from those other mistakes that will ruin you, totally and completely. But thankfully, I'm here with all my awesomeness to show you the way away from those mistakes and into something better, aka more winterly. So let's do this. Hit it, James. Brad Johnson Show. I'm turning losers like you into winners like me. You're about to enter the winning zone. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Brad Johnson. Here, as always, this is to the host, James Kirkland. Here, as always. Welcome to the Brad Johnson Show. <clears throat> Welcome to the Brad Johnson Show, where I'm turning losers, <laughs> all kinds of losers. Like there's just any kind of loser that you could possibly imagine. Just look in the mirror and that will help. Uh, any any kind of loser. I'm turning those type of people into winners like me. So glad to have you here pouring my voice into your brain cavity. Oh, man, it is, it is good to be here. Uh, this is the new year. I'm just feeling 2020 like <laughs> it is it is a thing. Yeah, the, the new decade is off to a smashing start, I would say. Yeah, and uh, we kind of uh, started it off correctly. Uh, we didn't do it a couple weeks ago when the when the new year actually started, uh, but I, I was planning on doing a, a Christmas uh, company uh, a company Christmas party slash um, dinner type thing. You know, very fancy five star restaurant. Um, it's actually six star now that I think about it. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, that was that was incredible. Um, it's you you know you're at a fancy restaurant. Uh, when they won't let you grind the pepper and they have the the giant like pepper like that thing's like three feet mm. long like i i mean how yeah. much pepper do they fit in there i mean that is it's incredible i don't know but um it definitely tastes better i mean they don't let you shake any seasonings in that building <laughs> yeah it's uh it's just a, a true sign of class um part of it it kind of bugs me because it's like hey you know i am a five-star chef myself i've i have uh classical and professional training uh from some of the top people in the world which made me into one of the top chefs in the world and it's like guys like (laughs) i i can grind my own pepper like i know how to do it like there is there is a technique to it that i think most people don't realize well maybe we should do a, a special episode about that uh well the, i i could if <laughs> if anybody could make pepper grinding interesting it would be me but yeah i guess i guess they just don't trust normal people to grind pepper i guess you know maybe some liability issues of some sort especially when it's so long it's good uh you know pull your shoulder or something anyway on the show i'm gonna help you salvage the wreckage of your life through my tried and true answers that are guaranteed to change your life maybe even for the better uh hang on for that sponsor segment that's actually coming at the end of the episode and those people keep us on the air as do you and that's something i don't mention very often uh james you know me as we're rolling in it as far as dough Obviously. goes and uh, money as well we have we have a both a lot of both and um Because of that, I don't really mention this often, but if you go to anchor.fm slash brad-johnson-show, that's a great place for people to go and support the show because there's a little button that says uh, support the show. Exactly. And and obviously, we don't don't need the money, but I mean, you know, you got to have as many income streams as possible. So uh, definitely the support there would be much appreciated. Exactly. Totally. All right. So go do that. And also remember Brad Johnson course, as always, link is down in the show notes. So uh, let's let's jump into today's topic, James. I, I um, I'm an anti fluff person unless it comes to my pillows. And other than that, I had there's no fluff in my life whatsoever. As it should be. So that is why we're getting into straight into the topic of today with no further ado or fluff or any kind of that sort of thing. So we are uh, we're talking today about these digital marketing mistakes that I mean, they will destroy your business. And beyond that, they will ruin it. Yeah, we really we really want to avoid these mistakes um, that can derail your business, uh, especially if you're um, into railroads. Um, you really don't want your business to get derailed. So these these will be important across the board. Well, and I think people don't realize how how many industries railroads affect. I mean, just <laughs> yeah. just think about it. I mean, I I purposefully build my house as far from a railroad track as possible because I mean that noise is just atrocious. And like, how am I supposed yes. to do like recording of my audiobooks, recording of my podcasts, recording of my my music albums, like recording like all the recording stuff that I need to do? How can I do that with a train? But that being said, I mean, 
trains carry a lot of stuff. Uh, cars. Yeah. They carry mm-hmm. cars and, you know, they, they carry corn. I mean, where would where would we be without corn? I mean, seriously. we uh, Yeah, I'm, we can't live without corn. Popcorn. Um, definitely non-GMO, obviously. Of course. <laughs> but still, uh, all kinds of, of, of corn products that are really important. I mean, even... even uh, like the, the cornhole game. I mean, that mm-hmm. yeah. that wouldn't exist without trains. Yeah, so methanol. that's why ethanol, yeah, that is another thing that uh, is made by corn. Uh, anyway, so uh, digital marketing. Yeah, so whether or not, you know, corn is up on their game as far as digital marketing goes, whether or not railroads are up, um, it, it really doesn't matter because these tips are for you no matter what niche or niche or niche you may be in. So let's uh, let's hit this first one here. Um, I love I love digital marketing. I mean, it's kind of my it's kind of my jam. Uh, I do a lot of what I do online, but I also do a lot offline. Uh, but this is more specifically for the online stuff because it is digital. Yes, and that's where everybody is nowadays is in the digital space. So you should be there too because that's where the money's going to be at. Exactly. All right, let's hit this first one. So the first one is you'll never set your goals that you don't reach. Okay, so what does that mean? Basically, it means that if you don't set a goal, you're not going to reach it. Now that that may be a little complicated. Well, I, I think it's backwards. Well, I, I think it's well. Some people would think it's backwards, but that's why so many people get that wrong. Especially in the new year, people think that it's all about um, setting your goals first. But you have to <laughs> you have to reach them before mm-hmm. you can set them. Yeah, it, it, it makes total sense. I mean, think of something on your shelf. Okay. So for me, it's, you know, a a super high dollar expensive crystal uh, wine goblet. Okay. If I want to reach it, it's already been set. Okay. But if I want to set it, I have to reach it. Okay. So those two Mm. things just go. Yeah. yeah. And if you don't, you end up dropping it on the ground and it shatters into a million pieces. You probably end up getting a cut on your foot. That gets infected because you can't afford to hire a cleaner like uh, most civilized people do. And, you know, then you get gangrene and get your leg amputated. And suddenly, I mean, you're you're an amputee. And then and then what? Yeah, that's that's such a, a catastrophic like mm. spiral. You don't yeah. want that to happen. And the other thing is whenever you you reach your goals before you set them, you can actually make anything into a goal. So like you can. You can have accidentally done something amazing and then say, oh, I, I totally meant to do that the whole time and say that that was one of your goals. And that'll just impress people and so much. And that is what the, the main purpose of goals uh, is to just really get that social proof that people look at you and be like, wow, that guy has crushed so many goals. That's what people say every time they look at me. They're like, wow, yes. that guy has crushed so many goals. So uh, there you go, people. Or just that guy is goals. <laughs> uh, reach your goals before you set them or else you will become an amputee. And uh, at that point, I mean, you can't wear matching shoes. I mean, <laughs> life just goes downhill. So let's uh, move on to this next one here. The second one, understand your audience's needs, then disregard them. Okay. So this is uh, kind of building off of one of the mistakes you don't want to make. And that is to, to just stop at understanding. Okay. So if you understand the needs and then you're like, okay, cool. I understand them. What does understanding do? Now, nothing. Uh, yeah, okay. does nothing for you. Okay, word, word geek here. Warning, <laughs> entering the grammar zone, <laughs> the etymology zone. Um, understanding. Okay, that means to stand under. Now, what do you stand under? Generally speaking, uh, the uh, the American flag. Okay, you stand under a flag. Uh, what about a, a ceiling? Okay, you stand under a ceiling. shower. A shower, exactly. You also stand under hats. People don't usually think about that. They, they think about mm. the hats are put on top of your head, but you're actually standing under a hat and it's just moving with you. It is mm. like... So it's, it's, about, it's about style then. Well, it's about all those things. It's about cleanliness from the shower. It's about style. It's about um, shelter and actually like not being, you know, you know, sleeping in the rain type of stuff. Patriotism. Yeah, patriotism, all those go into understanding because your audience's needs are are varied, but then they don't really matter, okay? Because and when you're doing digital marketing, what are you telling people? You're telling people, this is my product, okay? Their need mm. doesn't influence your product. Your product should influence their needs. 
So basically just wear whatever hat you feel like, regardless of what other people say. Exactly. And also, you know, take whatever kind of shower you want to take, regardless mm. of what people say. I mean, all that stuff goes into it. But then wow. uh, as you come out, the, the the mistake you want to avoid is just stopping at understanding. Because if you stop at understanding, then you won't be able to progress to that disregarding, which means that you're going to care about what people think about your product and which is going to stop you and and uh, that uh, whole analysis paralysis type stuff. Right. Yeah. You don't want to take it too far. Exactly. Okay. <clears throat> Let us move on to the next one. Churn out content with no purpose in mind. Okay. So this is one of those mistakes that you definitely want to avoid is uh, just doing purposeless content. Now, James, what do I always say about purposeless content? The purposeless content that you create creates purpose for yourself and for your audience, whether they realize it or not. Uh, yeah, that's probably a... a modified quote of what I said. Um, usually my quotes are a little more eloquent than that. But the the main point gets across is that uh, if you're doing a purposeless content, that is creating purpose for you in the moment in that you're creating content. But if the content is purposeless, then your purpose in creating that content is purposeless. And I do not approve of purposeless things. Okay. I mean, that's yes. that is why I have never been a fan of board games. Okay. Um, you, mm. you go around in a circle and you say sorry and then the game's over. It's like that was completely... Or in Monopoly. Mo Monopoly. Or like in Monopoly. You, you can't use that money yeah. anywhere. Believe me, I've tried. And you don't get to keep it. Exactly. Like at the end of the game, you have to put it back yeah. in the box. Like I, I worked hard for that. I should get to keep yeah, it. <laughs> money does not belong in a box. It belongs in a bank or, you know, in a yeah. super secret place that you don't tell people about that's, you know, maybe or may not be located in your one of your many homes. Yeah, in real life, you don't you don't drive three other people into bankruptcy and then not get to keep their money. Like, what's the point? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, purposeless things, I have no time for them, uh, which is why I'm always grinding, always hustling and doing the stuff that has purpose, okay? So that when you're doing marketing stuff, you got to focus on the purpose. And the purpose is make money. <laughs> That's, yeah, make money. <laughs> exactly. And it's, it's really just a shotgun approach. Like, Sure, you're, you're making tons of content that's going to be um, irrelevant to most people, but there's going to be always one person mm. that will benefit from whatever you're making. Even if it's garbage to most people, there's always going to be that one person that needs to see it. Well, you know what they say, there's, there's um, thousands of people that live on this world and uh, yeah. a lot of them have internet access. And because of that, you can market to them. Those just thousands, maybe tens of thousands of people, okay? And you want to really take that into, into consideration as you're marketing that it could go to more than one person, but it could just be targeting that one person, especially if they have a lot of money. Okay, so we are just about to wrap up this uh, digital marketing mistakes that you do not want to make. Here is the last one, the one that you definitely do not want to make. <laughs> this is save the best for last. Last one is track the ROI of your door-to-door -door sales efforts. Okay, ROI. That stands for really obvious investments, okay? That's right. what that, that word stands for is really obvious investments. Now, how do you track really obvious investments? Well, I think one method we've used, uh, especially with the door-to-door -door sales uh, aspect of things, is you create a problem for people as soon as they open their door mm. and it's a really obvious investment for them to purchase whatever you're offering. For example, we'll have people come um, and we'll plant a tree in their front yard without, without asking. And then we'll open the door and we'll say, Hey, there's a tree sitting in the middle of your yard that wasn't there before. And then we'll offer to sell them a shovel. Mm. That's, that's a really obvious investment. Like, of course they're going to want to, to take care of that right away. Yeah. Or, I mean, this goes back to the classic, uh, you know, vacuum salesman trick, which I've never sold vacuums. Um, I find them disgusting and I don't really want to touch them, which goes back to why I hire people to clean for me. Uh, but if you are a vacuum salesman, uh, they, they just come with a little bit of dirt in their pocket, which I'm sure is, is probably pretty uncomfortable because uh, it usually pockets they're not very airtight. You know, it's like it's the stuff kind of seeps through them. So I'd imagine your yeah. leg would get kind of dirty and probably kind of fall down into your sock. Anyway, they throw it on the ground and they're like, watch my vacuum, pick it up and boom, they do it. So <clears throat> you want to make 
uh, really obvious investments for your clients. And by that, I don't mean that you invest for them. I mean that you make it obvious what the investment should be. And that investment is your product. Yes. And you do that by making products that are irresistible and have such a premium price to them that people realize, hey, this is extremely expensive. I obviously have to have it in order to have any meaning or status in the world. Yeah. And people, they, they, they rag on expensive products. Like, oh, that's, you know, I could get that for cheaper at, uh, at you know, one of those big box stores, which <laughs> believe me, I've been to those stores. They don't have big boxes. It's, just, it's a complete misnomer. Anyway, um, but they're like, I could get that cheaper there. And it's like, well, it doesn't matter because it's not the same thing. And if it's not the same thing, then you're not getting the same thing for cheaper. Right. That's, and even then logic. you should, even then you should want to pay more money because obviously if you're paying more, you're getting more. I mean, I mean, look at any, any fashion item from, from Gucci or Supreme, obviously totally worth the price that you're paying. And if you try to get a duplicate anywhere else, it's obviously going to be fake. So you should be willing to pay whatever they ask. And I'm all about haggling. Okay. I'm all about getting the best deal for me that I can, obviously. But that uh, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to be willing to spend more if it means I get more, which is just what, what we're meaning here is that if your really obvious investment means that they get more, then it's, it's even more obvious. Exactly. It's really just an, it's an exchange of value to money that if you're, if you're going to give them more money, you're obviously going to get more value no matter what it is. And that's, that's how money works. The more of it you give, the more you get. All right. So there you go, people. Those are the digital marketing mistakes that you need to avoid here in this coming year as it is already here. So it's not technically coming. It is here. So these are the the mistakes you need to avoid in this year here. So do that. And uh, yeah, I'm sure if you actually follow through on these tips and avoid these mistakes, you are going to blow it up. And I mean that literally um, in a metaphorical sense. So thanks guys for listening. Um, James, tell them where they can reach us on the socials. So the socials are the easiest way to get a hold of us, um, at Brad Johnson show on Twitter and Instagram. And then on Facebook, just search for the Brad Johnson show and you'll find us there. And whenever you follow us, your life will instantly improve and, um, our follower count will go up. So it's, it's just a mutually beneficial situation there. Yeah. And people ask me, they say, Brad, how, how will my life improve once I follow you? And I always tell them it will yeah. like, trust me mm -hmm. because like <laughs> we have testimonials of people who've just followed on social media. I mean, it will blow your mind. I mean, they've, they've, they've gotten uh, girlfriends out of the deal. They've gotten new cars yep. out of the deal. They've gotten you know more money growing their business. I mean, 10 Xing it's, it's incredible. Yeah. It's, it's just astounding. Uh, the, the real world results we've seen. Yeah. If I could bottle the results of following me on social media, <laughs> I would be richer than I am right now, which is really saying something. Yeah, that's definitely hard to top. All right. Well, thanks guys for listening today. Remember, click the link down below. You can get a free sample of the Brad Johnson course. So if you think this audio stuff is amazing, wait until you see my face. <laughs> and uh, James is there too. Uh, but it's, it's so good. The course is amazing. I amaze myself every time I even think about the course. I don't even have to watch it to be amazed by it, but it is amazing. So thanks for listening today, guys. We will catch you next time. Remember to share the show with somebody that you know who needs some winning in their life. Talk to you next time. You've just listened to an episode of awesomeness. Now, go out and spread the awesomeness and help others fix the mess that is their life and help them stop being a loser and start winning in business, health, and their personal life by getting them to listen to The Brad Johnson Show. Book your face, tweet your tweets, and insta your grams at Brad Johnson Show. The Brad Johnson Show. Winners only. <laughs>